hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will show you how to make these wreaths for less than five dollars each so it shows you right here what the materials that you will need or you can also go to my blog at ccdsmith.com and i will list all the supplies that i'm using in this video so first i'm going to start with the candy cane wreath which i purchased this frame at dollar tree and i'm just using my leftover buffalo check fabric that i've used on my other projects and I've cut this into two strips and the length for this is about 40 inches by three inch in width. So what I plan to do with this is wrap the strips around the frame just like this. And you can see that I have the fabric laid out diagonally and take the other side of the fabric and then just decide how much I would like to tuck the fabric in. Then adjust as needed. Once I'm comfortable where I want the fabric to be, I'm just going to put some hot glue to hold or secure them together. I'm going to wrap the fabric again onto the frame all the way until the end of the fabric and then place a hot glue to hold or secure them together. Then I'm going to take the other strip and we are going to do the same thing. But first, find the placement where you want to start the strip. Once you find it, Take the hot glue and place it onto the fabric or frame to secure them together. I'm going to wrap the strip again onto the frame all the way till the end of the strip and then place the hot glue to hold or secure them together. So I thought my fabric wasn't enough but all I had to do is pull and adjust the fabric, fold it at the end and then place a hot glue to hold or secure together. And don't forget to do the other end as well. Fold it at the end and then place a hot glue to hold or secure together. So next I'm going to cut a hole just on top of the metal part right here. This will secure the decoration that I'm going to insert. Then I'm going to place a hot glue to hold and secure the decoration onto the frame. Now I'm going to create a ribbon. I am no expert on this, but just create a couple of loops. And as you can see, I'm trying to determine how big of a bow do I want for this frame. Then create a couple more loops and adjust as needed. And I have these ornament wires and I will place this on the middle of the bow. But first kind of pinch the middle of the bow Place the wire, bend, and twist. This will help to keep it together. Great about the wire ribbons is it is so easy to work with. So all you have to do is just fluff it up and adjust as you'd like. Trim the ribbon. Now I'm going to cut a piece of the ribbon to place it on the middle of the bow. Fold the ribbon in place, then put hot glue to hold and secure. I'm just going to fluff this up again and adjust as needed. Fold the end of the ribbon in half and cut upwards to create the V at the end of the ribbon. Place the bow underneath the decoration to see where exactly you want it to be. Then put hot glue and place the bow on top of it. I also found these candy cane peppermint candy at the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to add glue on these and place it between the frame and the decoration. And that's it. Doesn't that look pretty? This is so easy, you guys. I love how this turned out. Now let's go to the next wreath. So here are the items I use for the round wreath. And I also decided to add floral decorations, which I don't have in this photo, but you can add anything you prefer. I grabbed a few of these round foam at the Dollar Tree because it only cost me like 25 cents. And the ornament truck was for a dollar as well as the fabric. So I'm just going to cut these in strips because I will be wrapping this fabric around the foam. So I'm just putting hot glue on the foam and as you can see I'm going to place the strip diagonally and just wrap it around, adjust as needed, and then add hot glue to keep the fabric in place. Now I'm working on the next strip 
put some hot glue on the foam and find the fabric placement, then wrap the fabric around the frame. So basically we're gonna repeat this process about three more times. Now I'm just putting the ornament in the middle, put some hot glue onto the foam, and then just let it dry. Now I'm going to take some of these greens to add onto the wreath to make it look more festive. You can use whatever you prefer. Just add some hot glue to hold things together and let it dry. And there you go. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up or leave me a comment. Let me know which you guys like better. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my tutorials. You guys have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye guys!